Well, here we are. The end of Battletoads. The end of all things. It's been quite a harrowing journey to reach this point. There's a lot of things I want to say, but I don't know how to say them. But I think it all starts... And that's what I've been trying to get across this whole time. Whew. Oh, that was a lot to get off my chest. I'm, s I'm still crying a little bit, but uh, uh, just, just disregard that. Disregard the sappiness of everything I said. I do hope it brings us all together, but... It's time to focus on the here and now. It's time to focus on what is at hand. What is going to be televised. What is now. That's right, it's number 9, I mean, level 12 of Battletoads, The Revolution, the final level. And I might regret saying this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it, mostly because a representative from Rare has me at gunpoint. But this level design, I'll admit, despite everything, despite the 11 levels of absolute bullshit that the game has thrown at the player so far, I will admit begrudgingly that the level design behind this is actually pretty cool. The gimmick behind it is... It, 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 it's neat, okay? It's neat. It's kind of cool. I like how the little tower thing in the background revolves as you move as if you're going in a circular pattern in each level part of the... This is just difficult for me to admit. It's difficult for me to admit that anything Battletoads related is in any shape or form neat. But I'll admit it, this is neat. Despite that, though, this level is still frustrating, because you still have to have pretty good timing in just about everything you do, like these yellow rhinoceros baby creatures who do things like that! Whereas if you're slightly off in your little headbutts, you'll be stunned for a second afterwards, and they'll have a chance to horn you in the toady nads. That's just not fair. I don't respect that very much. I don't respect that level decision. If they wanted to make the level cool, they should have followed through all the way. Not have clouds of absolute green horseshit flying around spitting out poisonous bubbles at you. That doesn't... What? And these enemies. I don't even get it. They're like, Aah! And then you just beat them at senseless and they die. You still have to have relative timing on that, because if they do get near you, they will kill you instantly. And I would also like to stress that Rare completely crapped over their design, that, their cool design that they had for this level, by having a very limited amount of checkpoints, which they don't even indicate to you when they are. I have I've reached one of those a little while ago, but if you die in a part of the level, chances are you're going to get flung back pretty damn far and have to do this stupid stuff again. Like, time your jumps as the tower evolves and the clouds move faster because the background is spinning and they're going to spit the poisonous gas at you and make you fall... What is, what is, this, what is this bullshit? This level is neat, but I want, I want to like... I, mm, mm, I want to like it. I do want to like this level. But unfortunately, this level is about as hard as the Terratubes. And that's saying pretty good... That's saying a lot. That green cloud you saw a second ago takes a lot to hit, and if you don't have the stick, it is going to take an extremely long time to kill you. And, chances are, you won't even have the stick in the first place, because there are so many easy ways to die in this level that you'll get flung back to the earlier checkpoint, which has no stick. Now here, here, is where the level design gets cool again. See, as you stand on the parts that rotate around the tower, you are stationary, but the tower itself still moves. That's innovation. I respect that. I respect that so much that I'm, I'm, I'm crying a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Rare has so much potential, and they did prove their potential by designing games after this. I don't know if this was in their earlier days when they were experimenting with drugs, kind of like the Beatles did. Rare, Rare is obviously the Beatles of video game design. Oh, by the way, like you saw me miss the ramp right there, if I had not landed back on the ramp, I would have died. Because the ground beneath you disappears and instantly turns into a bottomless pit of shit. <sighs> now, Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple will appear intermittently throughout this level and rise up when those sticks appear and attempt to blow you off the tower. So you have to hold on to the sticks that come down 
and it's it's all very good fun. If you don't hold on to him, you'll get blown away and die instantly. Instant death again. This enemy, instant death. Falling into a pit that you accidentally create for no reason, instant death. <sighs> Wait, when did I say that I actually thought this level was cool? <laughs> There's gotta be something wrong with me. Or maybe it's just because that playing through 11 levels worth of this... This... Stuff... has just made me not understand good quality from bad quality. Like, what if I played a fun video game? Like, if I were to go back and play Super Mario Bros. 3 for the hell of it, I would probably think it was the greatest thing I've ever seen. It would probably give me an orgasm from the minute I hit the start button on one player. I would just, I would jizz myself, and it would probably continue for at least a couple of hours without stopping. <clears throat> well, I think I know what I'm going to do after I finish playing this. That's, that's neither here nor there, though. Now, here's another tricky part, because Olmec comes up, and, you know, he blows out his bullshit about the shrine of the silver monkey as he blows his hot air ass bubble gas shit at you. I hate that old mech son of a bitch. But I think that's the last we hear of him. Now this fucking thing is the most annoying thing in this level. You can't kill it, and it just flies randomly around the level, blowing air at you, and will blow you off. So if you don't constantly, constantly move, and keep in mind you have bottomless pits everywhere you go, so if you miss, if you slow down at all, you're gonna get blown off, or you'll be in such a hurry, like that, that right there, you'll miss slightly, but then you won't have any ground below you, so... <laughs> Oh, but hey, it's the Dark Queen. The final boss fight, the end. Level 13, actually. And technically, technically this is level 13, because if you lose all of your lives and get a game over, instead of having to play through the revolution again, you'll start at this boss fight. That's very nice of Rare, but honestly, honestly Rare, too little, too late, far, far too late, after everything you've put me through, all the bruises I've collected, all the friends I've lost, this does not make up for that in any way. And the, you know, what makes it even more of a slap in the face is that the Dark Queen isn't even hard. Compared to the other bosses, she's not much harder than the level 1 boss. You can hit the Dark Queen at any time. Even when she's a tornado, you can still hit her. She's not invincible. Now, <laughs> like you saw right there, if you don't time the headbutt quite right, you will take damage. So, while she's vulnerable, it's kind of risky to do, but... If you're in a hurry, and you want to kick this bitch's ass, because, honestly, after playing through that level, you're probably going to want to kick a little bit of bitch ass, then yeah, you're going to do it. But I expected a lot more from this boss fight. Like those things in the background, those... starbursts? You know, I expected them to come flying into the background, smack Rash in the face, or even worse, you know, Rash's hand turns into a hypodermic needle and ejects himself with that stuff that they used to put dogs to sleep, which would stop Rash's heart immediately and kill him. That's what I thought this boss fight would be like, but no. Not so. It's actually pretty easy. And with being called cattle loads, which I suppose is an insult even though they're not, you know, f farmyard animals, the game's over. How about that? But we have an epic ending ahead of us. Think about everything the game has thrown at you so far. Just all the shit. Rare is surely going to be kind enough to reward the player with an ending deserving of the amount of effort put in to beating this game. All of it is just... I can't wait to see what the payoff is. That is going to make my entire effort worth it. Okay, so we got some exposition here. Blah, blah, she runs away. Until next time, but then the toads celebrate by. by. doing. by. That's it. That's it, isn't it? That's the whole ending. You mother. I, I hate it when. I, you know what? You know what? I hate it. I hate it when games just end abruptly with absolutely no warning.